Well, honestly, I still can't believe it's a thing. I still can't believe it's real, but it's officially been confirmed. The LR, Goku, and Frieza is going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening for, I'm assuming, part three of the sixth anniversary. Like, this just still doesn't make any sense to me, especially because it doesn't look like the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta is getting an easy A. And that was the logical conclusion after, you know, Int UI got his Extreme Z Awakening, right? But it is what it is. I mean, of course, this unit really fits the theme of the celebration. It's just way too soon. It's way too soon. I mean, of course, I've already, you know, expressed my opinion about this easy A. Um, there are currently the hardest hitting unit in the game, you know, or at least very close, if not the hardest hitting top five easily. And for for this unit to get an Extreme Z Awakening before a bunch of the 120 leads, before a bunch of the category leads, before a bunch of older summonable LRs as well is just crazy to me. And at this point, nothing can really surprise me. You know, like no matter what comes out after this, I won't be surprised because if they can give LR Goku and Frieza an Extreme Z Awakening right now, then uh, yeah, like I said, anything is possible. Now, of course, we are looking at the uh, Dokkan V-Jump scan, the official scan, and a uh, big shout out to Dragon Ball Hype or DBS Hype on Twitter for posting this. So outside of this EZA confirmation, by the way, there's no details, so uh, we'll have to wait for, you know, either the data download or for Bandai or Akatsuki themselves to release the information. I'm assuming the leader skill for Goku and Frieza will remain very similar, you know, it's still going to be 177% for uh, reps of Universe 7, and then maybe for the secondary leader skill, it's going to be like tech types, key plus 4, or key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100 to 120%, we'll have to see. But I don't see them giving, you know, reps of Universe 7 like 180 or 190 or even 200%. That just seems too crazy. And then for their super attacks and passives, I do think they're going to be more tanky. But offensively, they shouldn't give them any more attack. I mean, just to, to keep it a little bit more balanced, I guess. Um, yeah, they don't need more offense, let's be honest. All they need is a little bit more defense and maybe some more self-sufficiency for key, like they give, give themselves a little bit more key on their passive, and uh, they'll be perfect. I mean, they're already so insane, like, I, this is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, so outside of the EZA, there's gonna be the uh, Jiren campaign, the community campaign, right? And we found out that there's gonna be a, a new wallpaper that is gonna be one of the rewards for the campaign. So we got Jiren fighting the uh, UI Goku, and uh or just goku and uh frieza and uh it's pretty dope it looks like a really nice wallpaper kind of similar to the style of like the uh you know gogeta versus broly or zamasu versus vegito right so yeah wallpaper and the other slide here we have just a little notice about the upcoming extreme z awakenings for four that's a five four different free to play units. Okay, so there's gonna be easy A's for the Fizz, Ultra Instinct Goku, the one that just awakened. And uh, we also have easy A's for the 18 and Krillin, the Roshi and Tien, and also, yes, LR Max Power Master Roshi is also gonna be getting an Extreme Z Awakening, just like the uh, STR uh, Goku Black from last year for the fifth anniversary. So. Tons and tons of Extreme Z Awakenings coming for, uh, you know, the remainder of the anniversary. We got one, two, three, four, five Easy A's, plus the Jiren campaign. And I think that's pretty much everything that's covered in this uh, V-Jump leak. There might be a few other details that I can't read. Unfortunately, I can't read Japanese. I wish I had, like, a Resh or my boy Jin, uh, you know, sitting beside me telling me what's going on. But... Uh, as far as I can tell from the images, that's all they're talking about. So there you go, guys. The V-Jump scan, the V-Jump leak for Dokkan for this month. And uh, man, they're actually doing this. They're actually doing this. 
it's gonna take me a while to to really accept it. I think I'm only gonna accept it when I guess after it comes out, or even even after it comes out, I'm still gonna be like, this is crazy. This is crazy. I mean, I guess we'll have to wait to see like what they actually do with the EZA. Um, they could take it in a lot of different directions, right? They could do a lot of things with it. They could either keep it very simple and only make some minor tweaks, or just go all out loud and like make them even more stupidly broken than they already are, right? Um, my thinking is they're gonna be fairly conservative with it, although the anti UI EZA was really crazy, so maybe not. Maybe they just don't care anymore. Maybe they're at a point where like, you know, they're, they're just thinking, yo, this game, you know, has been out for a long time now. Who knows how long, how much longer it's gonna be around for, so let's just you know, throw balancing out the window, throw any logic out the window, throw any timelines for like easy A's and whatever, because like logically it should be the 120 leads and then the category leads and then summonable LRs, right? But they're just like, throw that out the window, who cares? Let's just do whatever we want. And they clearly have done whatever they wanted. Uh, in terms of the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, the uh, older category lead that is, um, he should be getting an EZA sooner than later. I'm thinking they're saving that for Saiyan Day, whichever, if I remember correctly, is uh, in March. March 18th, I think, is Saiyan Day, so that's probably why he's not getting an EZA for the 6th anniversary. And uh, I'm excited for that, man. I can't wait, because that guy's actually still really solid. Um, he wasn't like into UI Goku, where like, you know, not a lot of people were using U UI Goku before the EZA. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, the AGL one, is actually still usable. I still run him quite a bit on like, um, you know, the LGE or even Super Battle Road. Like, he's he's a very solid unit still, so for him to get an Extreme Z Awakening, I mean, I'm assuming he's gonna be even better than Ultra Instinct Goku. So, that's gonna be interesting. I'm excited for that for sure. And uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That is the V Jump Scan official confirmations for all the things we saw yesterday or talked about yesterday or last night when I was freaking the F out. And even though I've calmed down a little bit since then, I'm still mad confused, man. I'm still mad confused. But there you go, man. It's, it's officially confirmed. It's happening. So stay tuned for details. And that's it, guys. Another, another shout out to DBS Hype on Twitter for posting the images. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.